Hey everybody, so today I'm doing a quick review on the June Glossy Box. Now this was their, I believe, American Box or just, um, no, not American Box. I don't know, oh, it was the Dallas Shaw Box, that's what it was. And, um, hello pretty friends, while I am constantly showing the things I love online, I thought I'd take some time this month to share a few of my favorite new beauty products with Glossy Box subscribers. Dallas Shaw. Really nice. There you go. Um, I don't know why her eye is coming out like that. I don't know if that's like the beauty blogger Gray's like, I see you with the bad eyebrows. I see you. Like, I don't know, like, maybe that's what that is. Like, eyeliner shooting, uh, brow gel shooting out of her eye. I don't know. Um, so the items included in this month's box, which I'm not overly disappointed with, which is mm, good job. It's pretty much all glossy box gonna get out of me. So the first thing we have is the Sea Booth Honey Almond um, Nourishing Dry Oil Mist. And um, I really like this new dry oil thing for the summer. Get your hydration on without being greasy because who wants to be greasy in the summer? Unless you're at the beach and you're purposely greasing up because you want to tan. Anyway, I like the scent of this. Very sweet, very, very natural smell. It's for face it's a dramatically lightweight dry oil, oil for face and body, and it imparts a lasting glow for touchable skin. Really good. Nice size sample. The next item we have is Oscar de la Renta Essential Luxuries. Okay, is it sad that I got excited over the bag alone? I was like, I don't even care what's inside of it. Look at this cute little bag. Little charms. Oh yeah, Oscar de la Renta. <laughs> and inside is a whole bunch of perfume samples which um it's like Sephora orgasms and just give me a little bag of Oscar de la Renta <laughs> it just reminds me of that I'm sorry but um I like the scent of these I like that it comes in this cute little Oscar de la Renta bag I like the little charms um not disappointed at least when they gave me a sample of perfume they gave me multiple samples which I like so if I like a product, I don't want to just go, tss, tss, oh, I can't smell it again until I buy it and pay $150. No. Um, the next one we have is the Philip B. product, and it is Peppermint and Avocado Volumizing and Clarifying Shampoo. Now, um, it's an odd scent, peppermint and avocado, but avocado oil is known to be very good for the hair. So overall, not disappointed. And this new, I've been using a lot of clarifying shampoo because I keep getting them in my samples. And I have to say, I really like them. They really make the hair feel stripped of impurities, but not stripped of its natural oils. And I like that it leaves a really like light scent rather than that commercial perfumed scent. So um, very happy about this one. Again, decent size sample. The next one is Spa Ritual Favorites Nail Polish. Now the nail polish that was supposed to be included in this box, uh, they pulled out for some reason or whatever, really couldn't care less. But um, this color is really gorgeous. Um, do you see that little bit of like fire right there? It like, turns from pink to orange. It's really got a nice duochrome. I like it. And it's by Spa Natural and the color is Spirit Child Shimmer. I like the shape of it too. I like that it has a nice rip because I have a little bit of a shaky hand sometimes. And last but not least, we got this full-size product. So we got two full-size products and um, three sample size, which is just great. That's what I expect from you, Glossy Box. Keep it up. <laughs> I got the Complexion Enhancing Lipstick, which is um, Total Lip Therapy in a beautiful nude shade that's uniquely you. It has a glossy tinted core that gives the appearance of fuller-looking, luscious lips, thanks to Complexion Enhancing Pigments and Emollient Waxes. Alright, well, I love Tarte, so I love me some Tarte, so... Here's a go. Here we go. Here's the full size product. Um, let's open this up. And it's in like one of those little little cardboard um, lipstick packaging, which I don't really care for, but oh well. And then there we go. It's got the gloss in the middle, and I'm gonna do a hand swatch up here. So as you see, it's really light, but it does have that tint of color in the middle which is pretty nice. Um, it looks a little dark in comparison to my skin, but I'm sure it would look really nice. Um, and I want to apply it right now because I am testing the length of wear of this lip place. So um, I'll post about swatches this later. 
So overall, not a bad box. Um, if you're new to Glossy Box, Glossy Box is a monthly subscription. It costs, I believe, after shipping, I think $22. I think about $22. Um, which isn't bad because you get, um, like I said, I got two full-size products. I got three sample-size products. Really great brands, good brands. Um, not every month is fantastic. There's lots of hits and misses, but if you stick with them, they'll send you you know, a decent box, eventually. It's not terrible. Um, and again, it's all about personal preference. Like, what do you like? What do you wear? What do you already have? What kind of samples would you appreciate? What do you want to try? You know, it, there's so many variables that I can see how some people would love it, some people wouldn't. So if you'd like to sign up, I will leave a link below, and you can check them out. And um, you can follow me on Instagram at Recycled Stardust, or you can check out my blog, thecosmoholic.blogspot.com. I'm still behind. I did just get back from vacation, but I promise everything will be up very soon. And thank you so much for watching.